Hi Founder fans, Jason here. Today we're going to be talking about the one royal governor who did not side with the king during the American Revolution. Now, leading up to the Battle of Lexington and Concord and just after, most of the governors of the colonies sided with the king and recruited loyalist regiments and tried to help suppress the rebellion. But Connecticut, which was right next to Massachusetts, in the immediate aftermath of Lexington and Concord, their royal governor did something peculiar. He allowed the elected officials to meet. Now, this might not sound peculiar to us today, but at a time where most colonial assemblies were being dissolved, the fact that he called the assembly together to see what their opinion was, was a big deal. He really respected his constituents, despite his real obligation being to the king. Now, this man was Jonathan Trumbull. Jonathan Trumbull had been governor of Connecticut since 1769. So at this point, when Lexington and Concord happened, it's been about six years that he's been governor. And in the aftermath of Lexington and Concord, General Gage, who was in charge of Boston, who had sent these British soldiers out that started this war, he wrote to the other colonial governors, especially the close ones, and he wrote directly to Jonathan Trumbull and said, hey, I need men, I need supplies, I need help, I need support. And instead of just immediately saying, okay, here's some men and supplies and support, Jonathan Trumbull, as I said, called together the Connecticut Assembly and let them decide what to do. And what they resolved to do, since he was being so level-headed about things, they were level-headed about things. And even though many militiamen from Connecticut had already run to Lexington and, well, at this point, to Boston to surround the British troops, they resolved to have Trumbull contact Gage uh, uh, and, and say several things. Like, what's going on over there? What are you doing to end these hostilities? And Trumbull did write to Gage, and he wrote, you know, asking, what are revolutionary questions? You know, instead of saying, yes, sir, yes, sir, how can I help? He said, why are you fortifying Boston? And why are we, why is there no end in sight? What, what are we doing to restore peace to the community? And also, why are you going around taking everyone's gunpowder from them? That seems a little tyrannical. And the result was that, well... A revolution broke out, and Jonathan Trumbull was the only governor of a colony who not only sided with the Patriots, but remained governor of his colony throughout the war and beyond. In addition to that, Trumbull had several sons, I think at least three of his sons served in some capacity during the Revolutionary War. One of his sons uh, became very famous as an artist, and he's the reason we have paintings of many of these founders. Uh, one of them served, at least one of them served, as, as an aide-de-camp to General Washington. So the Trumbull family really went whole hog in support of the revolution. But, again, today's specimen, Jonathan Trumbull, is probably most noteworthy for siding with the Patriots as a governor. He would actually correspond tremendously with George Washington and give him not only assistance but advice you know, in, in leading people, Washington had never really led in a group of people this size, and Trumbull was one of the shoulders he leaned on to do so. Uh, and you know what, we're going to keep it short today, but I am going to leave you with a quote from the letter that Trumbull wrote to Gage. And I think it's very telling about the attitudes of the people in Connecticut and really in all of New England at the time. And uh, it's at the, at, the, at the closer to the end of his letter, he's, he's, he says, they, speaking of the people of Connecticut, they are most firmly resolved to defend their rights and privileges to the last extremity. So in essence, he's saying, first of all, he calls it their rights. He acknowledges they are defending their rights. It is their right to defend, you know, to keep their gunpowder. It is their right to have a say in their taxation. And, and furthermore, he, he says, defend them to their last extremity. They are, he's basically saying, they are ready to go to war with you. What are you doing to cool things off? And we know, Gage didn't do much cooling, and they went to war. So, I'm going to leave you with that. Uh,
Jonathan Trumbull. If you liked it, please hit like. Yeah, you know, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You know the jam. My name is Jason. Thank you so much, and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow.